come at the budget watch. This is Serpy. Now, today I'm going to be talking about the brutal slaying of two people in Kitson Town, right? St. Catherine. The victims are Georgia Blunt and Rural Fuller. They went missing on Saturday, right? And they were found the following Monday, right? Which would be yesterday, depending on when I hear this video. They both worked together. Georgia was an entrepreneur, right? She ran a water supply business, right? So, in case you're not aware, right? You know, some communities are man, right? Still have water problems, so, you know, the water truck or, you know, you know you turn up and supply, you know, refill, you know, your bucket, them refill, you upon upon them, if you have a tank, get a refill. Thing is, some of the truck them now go certain places, especially when it's a very rural area. Right, so Georgia Blunt and Real Fuller, that was really them specialty. Right, people can call Georgia any time of the day as you turn up in the community. Right, in the queue far enough, which bush it there, she gone and she has supply. So she was well known by right, the people in the area. She also had a livestock farming venture, right, where she would raise and sell, you know, cow and anything, the chicken, hog, right, various animals. And speaking about Og, I don't know if it's meant to be symbolic, but they were both found hog tied in an old abandoned house deep in the bushes. The search team right, consisted of various residents, right, security forces. Right, at one point, the residents were complaining that the police was not moving fast enough to help search for the two of them. But Whenever they see big people, you know, adults go missing and they start reach days, usually they're no longer alive. Children in wander off for days and days and days. But when they see adults go missing and nobody not hear from them, usually, right, it's the worst. Right? Not always the case, but usually, right, big people right, don't just go missing and nobody at all when hear from them. So, right. Search party go, people are look for them. Interesting enough, residents report that a dog meet them at the bush. Right. Got them a search all over the place. Right, them see a little dog. And the dog start run behind them. Right. They reach a T-junction and suddenly right, the dog run round them. Right. I read this not observer now, so they must say somebody named Mr. Archer suggested say them run behind the dog. You might know the shepherd find them, or the Jamaican shepherd find them. Dog start running behind them, so the dog will follow them. Right? Almost like him, I say, alright, yeah man, we need the right place, let's go and walk, man. And then they reach a T junction, and he's like, the Jamaican shepherd say, alright, time to take over. Run around them, luckily, right? Mr. Archer say, follow the dog. Turns out it was the right move. Right, the dog took them straight to the bodies right in the abandoned house. You see the vastness of the area, as you can imagine, very bushy means uh, they could have easily not found them. Right? Because uh, when they don't know where to look, they just a wonder, wonder. Right? Now you are going to need a whole heap of manpower if right? you start spread out and find. Right? So, right, the Jamaican Shepherd played a major role in helping to reduce the time. Right? people them take to find the remains of Georgia and Royal. Very interesting. Right? Seems that one of the canine can still wandering in the bushes in Kitsu Town. Like you look at the canine unit have to go find a dog there and give him a little vest. Right? Impressive that he could do that with no training whatsoever. Right? Just pure dog instincts. So this woman, I'll be saying Georgia, was known to supply water to places where right? nobody else not go. Right? This is why everybody you knows her so well and everybody right, is really caught up about the situation. But I say everybody, quote unquote everybody, because people know her go on. Right? And it's very possible enough people even know who do this on August. Now. So when I say everybody, they let it again in a sound. Right? This is somebody who you know, will drive the truck herself. 
she was not afraid to get her hands in money right mr rural help with the business right they were found in separate rooms hogtied as stated before with their throat slashed and what appears to be a gunshot wound to the head and i'm reading the papers that is when i started to you know reconsider the whole robbery motive at first it sounded like a street robbery you know and then i go towards you know, water truck and you know probably have money and anything like and I go look for animals and you know and just rob them and kill them but hog tied throat slash gunshot wound to the head that doesn't sound like no typical robbery to me you now she has some animals and she should do livestock farming too right the cows them missing right and people say look like money gone but the robbery thing kind of seemed smoke screenish to me hog tying someone and slashing their throat and then putting one to the head is not what a typical robber set off to do when man said i'm gonna rob people people said i'm gonna rob water truck or rob you know somebody who deliver this and that they don't normally go to those lengths right if it's just a robbery this seemed like it was more of a straightforward execution and then the robbery and everything there was either just the bonus for the criminals them to just take some or uh, the match I threw off uh, the investigators then. and even if you say it's a robbery gone bad even time somebody rob somebody and then start resist even if that was the case it still wouldn't end up with them being hog tied and killed like that because how robbery go bad play out is you actually rob somebody right they might resist you so now you and them get in a struggle right and you kill them not put them on them hands on them knees tie them hand tie them foot right and then slash them throat round to the head that don't seem like no kind of robbery to me speaking of tie up i noticed something when i was looking on the bodies then the way they were tied Tells me, say, the person who tied them up have experience, right, with farming and in particular animals. I was looking at the knots them with them tied. Those knots are not done by your typical everyday people, right? Them not they, right? Done by people who have experience in the bush, right? People who also experience the animals themselves, right? So I'm not surprised for you to take the call them. Right? You see. Two set of people me know tie knots different from everyday people. Two set of people. The first set is farmers, right? Bush people, right? Them tie knots differently from the everyday man. The next set is people who deal with boat and everything, you know, sailing and them people. For them not them different. Boat people, farmers, for them not different. I was looking at somebody the knots them right? in the picture and the bodies. Right. That's just not how an everyday person, an everyday 87 year old, tie up somebody. That's not how you tie them nowadays. So, it might not mean nothing, but it kind of stand out to me. So, I'm going to say, the motive right, appears to be, people are saying, you know, like a robbery car, them take this and take that, them take the coal. That might be a part of a bigger right, thing. Right. But, the coal them was already there. If they want a thief coal, them can't teeth the cow them without killing them. Easy. Or if my teeth the cow them and you come catch them, then they might kill and run the boat. The hog tie business and slash throat business. Right. Seem like something more. Right. The writer so. Right. So people who do farming and them thing there. Right. Remember, people teeth from them, yes. But sometimes people take them life when that does obviously Get rid of them, but also send messages to other people. This just seem extra grimy, a robbery, right? Or even, you know, pre or last, and my teeth cow on them, right? Them can sit down, watch which part they call them tie, wait till they gone, and teeth they call them. I'm just saying, don't write this off as a standard robbery, too quick. Now, this goes to murder of these two. It's just another example of the total disregard criminals have people's life in the Ironman. Of course, everybody have nothing but the utmost respect for the criminal's life, but them not no respect for nobody one. Everybody have utmost respect for the criminal's quote unquote freedom, but them not no respect for nobody one. They happily kill hardworking, enterprising people with very little consequences because them hardly get catch. 
We are very happy to make you go out there and work and work and work and struggle and struggle and just come take what you have and kill you. That's how criminals look on it. Why would they go out there? So take somebody like Georgia. Why would they go out there right, and deliver much water, do this and do that, tie out coal, rain, sunshine, courage, and maca juko. Why would they go through all that when they cannot make Georgia go through it? Or somebody like Georgia and just make another farm or make somebody go through it. Make you right get the coal, raise the coal till the coal get big and, and fat and, and look good and just go in and take it. It's easy money. Right? Right? 100% profit with no right? hard work involved. The hardest work is you know, them sticking you up and taking the things or just killing you. That's what them consider work. Just one of them things eh, in Iron Man. A one day, maybe two day story. People move on. Because it's become almost normal now. But I guess no people in the Iron Man can truly condemn the madness because they enjoy said madness and chaos. It feed them like how gas or diesel feed that car. But the car can't move. Hopefully, security forces hold on to somebody else. Right, but I'm gonna need some strong intel. This took place deep in the bushes. Right. If we in time and shoot people in a broad daylight like, in the middle of Spanish town, in a bus case, imagine them type of killing them. So, we'll see. Very unfortunate. Anyway, Patreon Squad, you open yourself. TIA, you don't know, more life. Culture Squad, stay circling. Bless.